Hello everyone, today we are going to show you a video on how do you draw a space corner one. How do you draw a space corner one if you have a requirement from a customer for a cabinet like this. So first I'm just going to bring in a carcass from my library. So I have a carcass that I built from my library. Okay, for this in, in Singapore, we always draw our back panel at has a butt joint so I say it's a 3mm back panel okay so what am I going to do first first we are going to section this uh, cabinet because we are going to bend this carcass backwards so let me just call this back okay so how we are going to do it we are going to say edit on the top panel and say segments in X segments in X 2 okay do the same thing for this bottom panel and do the same thing for the back okay so segments in X2 uh, sorry for the back will be segments in it should be Y let's see here uh, no it should be Z but we ah, okay sorry it's X so okay so we are done next we are going to pull this backwards by 45 degree but I need to know where to stop Okay, so what I'm just going to do is to draw auxiliary lines. So I go into auxiliary lines and I'll say line with an angle. So line plus angle, I'll say starting, let me off my shaded, I'll say starting here. And I want a line coming to the middle. And I want it to be 45 degree. Enter. Same thing, I say starting here to here, I want it to be minus 45. So you see that I know that I need to extend this point all the way to the back so now what am I going to do okay with the EXO I'm going to go 3d data and create a face so I'm going to click 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 this triangle so that I have a face okay that I can use when I exit okay so you can't see the face because it's all the way to the bottom and I'm going just going to move it up by 900 next what am I going to do we are going to use the extend tool so we say extend everything okay and we are going to just select this point you can see here this four points this points here okay but we also need to select this point single point so that this edges move back uh, we can select this edge we can select this edge this edge here here and two more at the top this H and this H so once we are done we press enter we have a triad out here and what we just do is say from this point here all the way to the triangle okay but we say only in the Y direction okay we say only Y so immediately you have the panels moving back okay but we have a error here okay uh, I might have selected the wrong point okay so we have to check on this so I'm just going to cancel again and I'm just going to say extend and I'm just going to move it uh, like a normal point so so that I can test the the I can test the the way the panel is is moving and I can see how it reacts Okay, I'm just going to try to pull it back and I can see okay so this is not what I want okay so you can see that the div the the sides are wrong so what I will do now is to just handle the middle okay I'm just going to say just the middle from here all the way to the back point which is here sorry from this point all the way to the back in the Y so immediately we have something like this okay this looks all right so what am i just going to do actually over on this side i'm just going to delete this so i have uh, something solid like this mm -hmm. okay so we have a back panel that goes all the way back or front 
So what I can do here to make sure that I can to cut this uh, to cut this area, okay, we can use uh, different tools like extension, or we can use uh, we or we can use cutting planes. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the cutting plane method. So what happens on here? Okay, instead of five hundred, I'm just going to say five fifty. Uh, just a random number, eight hundred. Okay, and we are going to our top view. Okay, and we are going to say part two is one. Then we are going to say cutting plane, cutting this parts using a ruler from here to here. Okay, we will keep the front. Again, same command, cutting plane. Selecting the back panel, okay, ruler, we cut from here to this point here, keeping the back. Okay, front and back you can see from the arrow. Okay, so once I'm done with this side panel, I'm just actually going to delete this panel so that I can just use a mirror command. So I'm going to use uh, other part tools one, mirror, select the side panel, select ruler, select this middle, done. So we have the site. Okay, so we have the carcass like this. This is what I want. Okay, if I want, I can melt away the this surface. So it's okay. How do we melt away it? Uh, we say under part two stew. Uh, part two stew, and we say melt. Okay, uh, melt faces. So like everything done. So you can see that the line disappears at the top. Okay, so what are we going to do next? We are going to do the uh, the panels on the side. If you look, notice here, there's a panel on the side here. Okay, this panel. So how are we going to do that? We can also just rotate this uh, carcass by 45 degree. Okay, something like this. Okay, I'm just going to throw the side panel inside. Okay, and we are just going to move this carcass to this axis. So I have something like this. Okay, and I can do the side panel. You can see that the side panel uh, actually goes from this point. Okay, for this case, this side goes all the way to the top. So if I want, I can also modify my panel. Okay, so I can just uh, maybe undo two steps. And what we can do is that we can we can just say extend this, okay, by this we know that our carcass is 18. So it goes in by 18. And then for here, okay, it extends it uh, upwards by 18. Okay, so what we can do now, we can say extend again, and we can push back this edge. Okay push it back to the Y, same thing, extend, pushing back this edge in the Y direction. So you can see that we can easily just change the uh, the shape, okay? So I'm just going to do, uh, we can do that later, but I'm just going to move it and show you a rotate again. So we are going to rotate uh, by the negative 45 degree, and we're just going to look at the top view. And over here, we can see that the panel cuts across, okay? The panel comes from here, 45. Okay, so how do we do that? We just press Q, and I'm just going to draw a panel like this. Okay, the height, we're just going 800. Okay, and it's two panels. So I'm just going to double click on this panel and say that this is 18 mm, and I make my adjustments now, 18. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this panel over here. Okay, so we have something like this, and we can say going back to EXO, we are going to move this panel down to the bottom, okay, and when we have this panel, we can also say extend this panel, okay, downwards, extend the top, okay, going down to the top here, so it's like, Okay, so how do I want to handle this? I can use union, uh, I can use difference, okay? So how do I do that? Okay, we go into part two, stool. we say unite. So I want Python to treat this as a single solid, okay? And next, we will go to uh, boolean, we will say differential copy, okay? This part to cut, 
cutting away here so you have the parts to that remain so you can either do this or we can use also cutting plane so we can say cutting plane over here okay in the top view using the ruler I'm going to cut from here to here and I'm keeping the front okay and you see immediately we have a nice corner here so this is how you do the space corner and next what we're going to do is you just rotate this cabinet back to 45 okay and immediately from our library you can open the space corner and you can insert the space corner cabinet here okay so you can easily just insert the space corner cabinet and of course we can adjust the the the, the cabinet okay so I'm just going to say extend okay the space corner or we can extend this carcass to fit the space corner with okay so this is how we we this is how we uh, deal with the space corner uh, for Pyta so it's easily you can do this put the space corner put two more drawers and do the drawer front okay so uh, you might ask how do we do the drawer front okay uh, there are various ways of doing the drawer front so first I'm just going to show you the first way if I'm looking at the top with the shaded off okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, hide the bloom okay so how do we do the drawer front over here so the drawer front can be done uh, easily by using XO lines again so we go back to main and we go to auxiliary lines okay let's delete all because I don't need the previous lines and we say we can say uh, line with angle I can click on this line click on this line angle 0 click on this line click to here angle is 0 next we can say uh, the line is a parallel and I'm going to click on this line to bring up to 18 click on this line to bring up to 18 okay and where does the drawer end let's say the drawer door is going to end here so same thing I'm just going to line with angle click click okay and I'm saying that it ends here so click and if I don't have a, a, another line over here okay we can use things like mirror so what I'll do first is I'll say a vertical right in the middle I'll say mirror this line okay and my element is uh, and the mirror line is somewhere here let me just uh, delete this okay the axis of symmetry is here and the line is here so we are done so next we will see 3d data okay we can go into profile okay I'll click click so we can click the profile that we want for the door okay and once we are done we can say that the door height is uh, 150 okay it doesn't matter on the door height okay and now we go back to main so now you see we have a door okay that we can do and all parts visible and we have a cabinet door so this is how you do the door uh, in Python for this cabinet so Try it out and let us know if you have any questions.